when uh, when you stopped her, we've played the recording of you screaming like maybe ten times on this podcast. Because to this day, that is one of the rawest moments I've ever seen inside the octagon. Like when you, when you jump, like when they stopped that fight and you screamed. It was fucking bone chilling. It was, it's so, I mean, I'm sure you've heard it, but that, here it is right here. Play it, Jamie. Listen. Dude. That's like from your genes. That's like, that's some cellular level shit. That's intense. It's relief. It's like, I didn't like, like we lived, you know? Like we lived, they didn't. Like yeah. we we get to eat, they don't. You know, it's 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 relief. It's ugh. It's uh, primal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you were like you said, you lived because that was. I mean, look, it's just a fight. There is a referee. You're going to be saved. But one of the things that George St. Pierre said last week when he was on the podcast, he said the mentality that you go in there, the way you fight, you are a warrior. Like, mm-hmm. you, you know that you're going to be rescued, but you are fighting for your life. And when you're fighting a fucking killer like Amanda, and you get lit up like you did and survive that first round, then go back and stop her, that's where that comes from. I mean, that was just fucking intense. Well, it's the, it's the practicality to me, right? Like, yes, exactly. We have a referee. We have cage walls. We have whatever, you know, fans. It's entertaining people. But, like, I need to know. I need to know that... Like that be in nature, you know, that be doing whatever that be self-defense that be fuck us fighting over a territory or food or or whatever. Like I need to know what would happen. Like if we had like, that's why I want these finishes. We only get 15 minutes to be able to tell ourselves what would have happened in that situation, you know, and and when it goes to a decision, I'm pissed because I don't know. You know, right. like you don't know, especially these three round fights where I'm waking up like these last couple fights, like late in the fight, I'm I'm pissed because I'm like I don't know if that would have been another 30 minutes or another two hours that we're scrapping in the woods like who gets the bone you know <laughs> I want to know and and so that's that's it's, it's crazy and it's your practicality and it's your survival and this is the way I get to know myself dude that's deep <laughs> who gets the bone <laughs> Whew. damn the way you just put it I don't think I've ever heard anybody put it that way you need to know 